Tim Walsh and J.D. Vance, deliver messages that resonate differently with various voter classes, highlighting cultural and ideological divides, immediate concerns about specific policies and fears regarding society's direction play a significant role in shaping opinions. Like all regular people I grew up with in the heartland, J.D. studied at Yale, had his career funded by Silicon Valley billionaires, and then wrote a bestseller trashing that community. Come on! That's not what middle America is. And I gotta tell you, I can't wait to debate the guy. That is, if he's willing to get off the couch and show up. So, you see what I did there? <laughs> I gotta tell you, pointing out just an observation of mine that I, I, that I made. I just have to say it. You know it, you feel it. These guys are creepy, and yes, just weird as hell. That's what you see. That's what you see. Authenticity and a genuine connection to American middle-class values are paramount. Tim Walls faces criticism for supporting progressive policies on LGBTQ education and gender issues, which clash with conservative values and concerns about child rearing. His portrayal of J.D. Vance as creepy and weird aims to diminish Vance's credibility and appeal. Conversely, Tim Walls' response to criticisms of his own policies, framing them as inconsistent with conservative values, underscores a public desire for leaders who adhere to traditional norms and priorities. This emotional landscape reveals a deep longing for authenticity and steadfastness in upholding cherished values amidst a rapidly changing society.